Hello everyone. Let's talk about something that lots of us are feeling these days. Loneliness. It's kind of strange, right? We're more connected than ever with our phones buzzing all day, social media feeds to scroll through. And yet, so many of us still feel incredibly lonely. So what's going on? How do we actually deal with this? I think we often believe that to fix loneliness, we just need to find the right people, the ones who truly understand us, who just get us. We dream about meeting someone who fits with us perfectly. But here's the thing, that's kind of an illusion. People can come into our lives and make us feel great, but they can also leave, right? Relationships can change. And honestly, understanding someone perfectly that's a lot to ask, and it doesn't always last. Loneliness isn't something that other people can fix for us. The presence of others in our lives can shift. It's not a constant thing. Even when we're surrounded by people, we can still feel lonely. So what does that mean? It means loneliness isn't just about being alone or having the right company. It goes a lot deeper than that. The truth is loneliness isn't just a social issue. It's an existential one. Sure, being around others can be awesome, but it doesn't necessarily make the loneliness go away. To really understand loneliness, we have to dig deeper. Think about this. You could be alone in the middle of nowhere, like on a mountain or in the desert, and not feel lonely at all, right? But you could also be smack in the middle of a crowded city and feel lonelier than ever. So, where does loneliness really start? With isolation. Not just physical isolation, it's more like we've built these invisible walls around ourselves. We look at the world and feel separate, like we're living in our own little bubble. That's what creates loneliness. Here's the thought. What if those people we see as strangers aren't really strangers? When we look at others, we usually focus on what makes them different. Their names, their backgrounds, their opinions. And doing that just reinforces our sense of being lonely. But if we look deeper, we might start to see that everyone is actually more familiar than we think. We're not really strangers to each other. And here's where it gets interesting. This deep connection we all share can sometimes be overwhelming. Ever notice how social situations can feel awkward? It's not because we don't have enough intimacy. Maybe it's because we have too much of it and we don't quite know how to handle it. But if we can recognize this connection, that feeling of loneliness can start to melt away. So imagine feeling at home no matter where you are, not just in your house, but everywhere. That feeling isn't about a physical place, it's a state of mind. So it's realizing that we share something deep with everyone around us. We are open systems, inhaling and exhaling the same air. We share the same life force with everyone. The more we focus on what makes us different, 
the more isolated we feel. But when we focus on what connects us, we start to feel more at home, no matter where we are. Now, you don't need to get up close and personal with everyone you meet to feel connected. Sometimes it's just about changing how we see people. When we stop labeling and start seeing each other as fellow humans on this journey, we start feeling at home everywhere. Those faces that seemed so unfamiliar suddenly start to feel like family. So what's the key to ending loneliness? Here's the surprise. It's learning to be alone together. Being alone doesn't have to mean feeling lonely. It's about feeling whole and complete. Even when you're by yourself, it's realizing that we're all connected even when we're physically apart. Learning to be alone together doesn't mean cutting yourself off from the world. It's more about breaking down those internal walls and embracing the connections we have with everyone and everything around us. Meditation can really help with this. It can help you feel connected to the world, not isolated from it. So, by understanding this interconnectedness, we can end our loneliness. We can learn to feel at home, not just in our houses, but in the world itself. It all starts with a shift in how we see things, a journey from seeing strangers to seeing familiar faces, from feeling isolated to feeling at home everywhere. Thanks for watching. It's time to reclaim your peace of mind. You're invited to download my free guide now to discover powerful strategies that will help you regain control even on the toughest days. These techniques are designed to empower you, giving you the tools you need to turn challenges into opportunities. So click the link below to start your journey to a stronger, calmer you. And remember to subscribe for more empowering content.